Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics here to introduce a new club and you want to be a part of this. Just look around the set. So much fun, so much color. I have had a blast choosing the fabrics for our Folded Star and Hot Pad. It's a combination club where you will be getting a shipment each month that has your coordinating hot pad and your towel. I just love that. Something to look forward to and display in your kitchen each month of the year. I love that, so much fun. And when you join the club and there's really limited space, I've been literally working on this for two years, <laughs> trying to collect all the right fabrics to just be putting a smile on your face each month, obviously, um, in the same flavor of kind of more novelty, joyful, and happy. Um, but when you are part of our club, the Folded Star Hot Pad pattern for the round, that's what this is going to make for the hot pad portion. This is a $12 value. Normally, you have to purchase that separately. In the club, you will automatically get that, and there's a template inside, which is what our beautiful hot pad is built on full tutorials on how to make both the round hot pad as well as the hanging towel. In the hanging towel portion of your club, you'll be getting this kind of waffle towel. It's wonderful. We have these specifically made for Shabby. Um, and you'll also be getting some pre-printed batting. That's the footprint of our towel. And it's just a really fun process. Fabric covered button. We make those here by hand. That's all included in your kit. So this is a combo. Uh, when you sign up for that, it is both the towel and the hot pad. You can't choose just one or the other. They are a uh, couple that will be going out to you. As you can imagine, these projects, of course, are going to take notions. That is what's on the table with me here. I go into greater lengths on the tutorials for both the Folded Star Hot Pad in the round as well as the hanging towels. Again, tutorials, check those out. See how fun and easy it is, even for a beginner. I'll just touch on what is here on the table. Um, of course, whenever we're going to be cutting our fabrics out, we want to be getting nice, clean, crisp cuts. Grab that uh, replacement blade, just pop that into the rotary cutter. Maybe even pick up a new rotary cutter if you need that. We do have our Perfect 5 ruler. Our squares and our hot pad are five inches. I love being able to just put a ruler down and cut right around that, or use the ruler you have at home and cut out those squares uh, for your hot pad. We definitely use the Roxanne's glue basted, or you could use the sew line glue that once we create our prairie points and we use the prairie pointer for that, not required, but it's a great aid and I think it makes beautiful prairie points, however you want to get those prepared. You'll be either using the Roxanne's glue basted or the sew line to go ahead and glue those down to that interfacing template that you will be getting with your pattern. By the way, when we send out your pattern, we're going to have an extra template in there for you to just practice, get familiar with that, but you will also get an interfacing template each month with your hot pad kit. So we're gonna give you one of those that you're gonna have and be able to study, mess around with, maybe practice with, so that when you're first, uh, you want it before you start making your very first hot pad, you've had a chance to give it some practice. All the other things, you might wanna consider the monofilament thread. That is what we use to stitch down the prairie points of the hot pad. We use those heavier Karen K. Buckley scissors. Maybe you have some shears at home that once all the layers are down and you're cutting out the shape of your hot pad, we like to use those heavier weight scissors to just be cutting through all of that bulk. Uh, flower head pins, and I've also got the heavier clover fine pins. Both are not needed. We did use both of those in the hanging towels, but if you were only gonna pick up one of those, one set, the flower head pins. We love being able to pin our pleats and have that be laying nice and flat. Definitely found that, again, I'll cover that over in that full tutorial if you're curious about how I'm using that. The wonder clips are very important as we rolled our binding to the back, clipping everything good and flat as we come in with our binding. Uh, so much fun. Uh, you know, kitchen, kitchen stuff, um, 
especially as we roll into seasons where we're doing a lot of baking, maybe it's Thanksgiving, maybe it's Christmas or Easter, how fun to have these things in the kitchen. And you will definitely be getting compliments from your guests um, and company as they see each month these things changing in your kitchen. Again, limited space in this club. Uh, be sure to grab your spot, let a friend know as well, and check out those tutorials if you're curious how we put those folded star hot pads or the hanging towels together. I will see you soon on another shabby video.